Hey YouTube, with my artificial sun right there, I thought I would do a video of my bottles for VTG, Vigor, oh, I can't say his name, something electronic, it stands for vintage, he even told me how to say it, but oh well. Um, so here's some of my, the, the, the collectibles in my workshop that won't be damaged by water, I mean it doesn't get wet down here, but it's, it's a little bit more humid, like my rockets, and then my little plastic and cast iron cars which were in a wet basement for 40 years anyway uh, I keep them down here and uh, it, it does fine but anyway I thought I'd show you my bottles because he had a coke bottle video and I thought I would show mine so first someone asked about this light too this is an old light that was in my great grandmother's basement it was off of some government building and um, Grackless class uh, glass was cracked, and I redid all the electrical in it, put a new cord on it, and it's rusted out pretty bad on this side, I think it is, and the glass is broken, but it it's firm and won't fall off, so I figured it would do a decent enough job. And that's a 300 watt bulb in there. So as far as bottles goes, I have my whiskey bottles over here. Lots of them really old. I don't know too much about all of them. Um, but I found these all at the same spot, and that's uh, an old place where suppos supposedly Percy Flowers did moonshine, and that for some of you that might be known as the Flowers Special. But uh, that's all a rumor, so you know, I mean, it could be real, it could not be, but whatever. So I got most of these around back in the woods where he used to supposedly do it. Um, these, most of the ones that were filled up, I've bought, like Mountain Dew a Richard Petty Pepsi uh, here's a Diet Coke in a glass bottle which was kind of odd I thought and then some these are Diet Coke and this one are modern that one's a little bit older back there and then um, I have my my Mexican Coke is not down here yet um, so I think let's see sodas less desirable sodas and then, whisk. This is cleaning bottles right here. Stuff like a uh, aftershave and Clorox and more Clorox. And this was a uh, brake. No, that wasn't brake fluid. That was something. But anyway, and then whiskey bottles. And that's just some of my Coke and stuff. I have the king size, and then I have a whole bunch of Pepsi's. And although I'm not a huge fan of Pepsi, um, I, I, I'll drink it. It tastes great, but Coke's the best. And yeah. Then I found this one and didn't have the heart to throw it away. It was just too cool of a bottle. Although it was broken pretty bad. It's a teenager. Shouldn't I had this bottle. Couldn't take it home because it was a, I had a whole truckload of them. And left this guy in a hidden spot. And I don't know why I didn't put down one of my less desirable bottles and grab this. But I didn't. And they smashed it. But it's survived. And it's um, Dr. Pepper. And then what time is it? And then it has a clock on it. That's a clock. See the numbers? and then on this side it just says Dr. Pepper and they broke the head in this but it's actually a relatively smooth break so I, I would keep it that would look cool in the bottom of a fish tank in my opinion uh, maybe one day I'll clean it up and put it down there but then my fish might cut themselves so I don't want that to happen and then here as far as coke goes this is just another odd one I found um, limited edition and this is the original. Uh, it's not obviously original because the original had some illegal stuff in it. But anyhow, I like Coke. So I'm, I'm like a um, free advertisement for them. And then got some old Dr. Peppers. And most of the old stuff's actually in the back. I would say probably I have in the upwards of 50 ish here. And then I have a little bit more upstairs. And then there's hundreds of hundreds of moors back in the woods because there's an old dump that was abandoned and so um, I'm slowly bringing them all home because they're all mine <laughs> so yeah just some old bottles oh and then Nazi zombie fan I have quick revive I need my juggernaut soda too I don't have the cap on it though or the fluid I never got that far and it's just taped instead of glued but one day I'll get it there this was gonna be my other quick revive bottle or this was gonna be juggernaut I never did it though Anyhow, uh, that's about it though. I know that light's killing you guys. I 
There, that looks better. I'll give you a better view of it. It's just, that's a pretty bright light, and I can't turn it off because it's wired up with my Christmas lights, my bubbling light, eventually my street light, which is right there, and then all my other lights up in there. And uh, this is the side of the crawl space I can actually stand on. Luckily, that side I don't use too much. Anyhow, and then if anyone else is wondering what's up here, uh, there's an old car back in the woods. I have a separate video of that. This is the handle off of it. Um, some old matchbox cars that don't mind. It's it's not wet down here. It's just moist. It's, it's not even really that humid. It's not like a basement. It actually stays pretty decent down here. A bubbling lamp, which... I need to fill up again, and my disco shoe, because everyone needs a disco shoe. And then that's an RC car that I never built. I really should someday, but it isn't hurt by... I mean, it's, it's not moist down here. It really isn't. Wood doesn't rot at all down here, and I never find mold, so it's really not that moist. So, yep, and um, I'll just close out. We're looking at some tires, I guess.